Hello folks, and that is his Skiki doing Lock and Load or Army Man Final Front. Uh, this is the final one, uh, part 7. And we're back to using our deck again. And uh, it says that we found the Tan Sacred Base. So, uh, looks like this is going to uh, try to incorporate as much as it can into it. And uh, this is one of the, uh, since this is the penultimate mission, I also made this one of the longer ones. Longer ones. This one uh, has PT boats, river boats, uh, your submarine deck cannon, infantry, uh, action. Like it, it tried to incorporate everything it possibly could in this, with vague controls of what it wants you to do. And I'll explain that later on. So uh, what we're going to do here is go ahead and park our U-boat here, and we won't be needing it anymore for the rest of the video. And it looks like it's decal of number 20 on the U-boat. Oh yeah, and free kills. Yay, free kills. Gotta love free kills. Oh, even more free kills. Yeah, it looks like they were trying to do an ambush mo moment there, and it kind of failed. <laughs> 3DO trying too hard again, I suppose. Uh, there is a little bit of safe state abuse, and that's near the end, and that's just because I don't want to waste your guys' time. But I was able to do this in one run. It's just that, like I said, it was like near the end dead end of the map and I didn't feel like playing the whole level again just to get a good recording when I was like right there so uh, anyway it's just pretty much the same standard as before of just take a few steps trigger take a few steps trigger uh, like I said, uh, I know 3DO gets better at further games down the line than this, but this really was sort of sloppy. I mean, like I said, all the ambushes here are pretty much predictable. Uh, some of the enemies are quite apparent where you can see them. Uh, like some of those you can... You can see my when I was pre-aiming. You might not have seen them on the screen, but I could barely see their heads and whatnot. I mean, it's like that one next to that tree in the far corner there. See them? And I'm too close to the tree. Okay. Move up a bit. Anyway, you see that guy right there next to the rock? See? I mean, look at that. That's just failed, failed ambush setups. Kind of, kind of ruined the mission. I mean, it looks like we're going with a river boonie. Kind of wish I'd less use PT boats, but no, can't use the PT, the PT boats. We gotta use these little, I think he has little river dinghies, salt rafts as they call them. And there's a little cheapness for you too. Wish you could go in and out of the boat whenever you wanted to. Also, uh, the tank controls for this is, like I said, it's same as in uh, that desert level. It's just tank controls. So, oh, there's nothing too bad. These things are a little more eye level this time. It's not ridiculous like that uh, bridge shot. But once again, it's just too predictable. I, I, don't, I don't know what's up with 3D on this. Oh yeah, and the auto aim. 
super douchiness. Fun, isn't it? Well, anyway, we just have to tr keep trolling until we find the right one. And that's not the right one. It looked like it might have been the right one, but it's not. I was just checking my map there. Figure out where I am. See, uh, more auto aim. <laughs> well, that's a good game. Uh, my my final views on a Final Fantasy. It, it was a good game, but definitely you could tell that. 3DO really slacked off, and it's really sad. Uh, the motorbike scenes, uh, like I said, I don't know if that's my processor or whatnot, and uh, you know the tank driving. They only used tanks once in this. Uh, a little sad considering the build up. Uh, And this is some more of that the predictable ambushes. It's just that they give me uh, tan machine guns this time, so it pretty much halfway kills you. See, like that. It just insta halfway kills you. But if you take your time, use cover pretty well, you're good to go. But, I mean, it's just. You can definitely tell 3DO. Uh, they did. They they were experimenting here, and it, it looks like they kind of half-assed it. So, I mean, com comparing this to Land, Sea, and Air, and uh, World at War. I mean, Land, Sea, and Air incorporate a whole heck of a lot of fun stuff into it. And if if anything, mix the uh, Gameplay of World at War and the uh, unique game mechanics of Lancy and Air uh, would have been an excellent combo of a game. I liked both of their gameplay systems and styles. This one was just, oh, let's throw in tank mechanics and go with it. And, uh, I mean, that would have been good if you made like an MMO or something. Or you know, where you'd actually have to manually drive the vehicle, but it just it just doesn't seem right. Like I said, it, this is the tail end of it. I, I don't see any reason to go back and do all the ship section just for because I'm like at the dead end of this. They try a little bit harder on their unit placement here, and it actually shows. They put some more effort into it. But it's still kind of rather predictable, unfortunately. And, uh, like I said, I did enjoy these LPs. Uh, doing the one last one because, uh, it's a fun game too, and it has its own unique gameplay mechanic, which is an incorporation of why not an MMO. Uh, and the reason I'm putting this up is, like I said, there's just not that many MMOs anymore that kind of balances gameplay mechanics, graphics, and uh, you know the st strategy, game planning, and whatnot into it. it it's either you have Kingdom building, you have first person squad based, or you have uh, some sort of uh, supply supply mount, like you have to kill 99 enemies or some odd that can beat the level, beat the round, and then you just replay the, play the same maps over and over and over and over again. Uh, for example, like Crossfire and of them sort. Uh, 
it's, and I feel like it's the first person genre could maybe step back a bit and you know try some different gameplay mechanics and focus less on the fancy graphics and more on the quality of the game because um, like uh, take Black Ops and uh, oh I can't remember which one it is that Nexon has uh, it's like same stuff, different characters, uh, pretty much. And I mean, I I don't know how worse I, I could even explain that. that. That's how pathetic it is. And like I said, I, I apologize for getting on a tangent, but like, uh, it, it just really takes me off. I can't find a decent MMO that incorporates it all in. Um, Fez was a pretty good one, uh, as far as a, g a good attempt for a fantasy style first person. And after Fez, just oh. what happened to the whole thing? They just gave up on it. it. It's either the Warcraft style engine, like League of Legends, or it's you know Utopia style or. It's just what what happened to the intermix between the two. It, it kind of just really disappoints me as far as game designers and you know gaming companies go. Of they just want to focus on one style and that's it. They don't want to you know incorporate this idea and that idea and this idea. It, it's just all like okay. Uh, Oh, ooh, let's make a World War Two game. Okay, let's have capture capture the uh, CP. Okay, let's have reward system for how many kills in a mission. Okay, and then that's it. Oh, oh, let's add zombie mod. Okay. Uh, and then oh, that's it. I mean, it's just all arena and focused. They put so much in the graphics that the gameplay area is so small and there's no creativity. It's just, it's forced. I don't like that. There's no customizing, there's no strategy, there's no going, you know, there's no planning. It's just run over to this pre-designation camping spot and shoot it. Now, here's where I have to use safe states again because I don't know what they considered the uh, theme of bobbers. Uh, to kill the rocket. I believe I have an idea now of it being the blue things, but I'm just experimenting around to figure out where it is. But, I mean, it's just, it really ticks me off. They, they show all these, oh, well, this has the next gen graphics. This game has graphics so high that you have to upgrade your computer to the newest stuff. To get it to play, and yet it plays exactly the same as the game as a different game that was six years back. It's just respawn, walk five steps, get shot, and then respawn again. <laughs> Nothing original. That just really ticks me off. And like I said, I apologize for ranting at the end of this video about it, but I need, but it just really, I really want to get that across to game developers. That if you're serious about gaming, come on. Don't go with the same mechanics every time. The graphics may look pretty. You may get your desi uh, art design in some college. Okay. But come on. Bring more to the game than just shooting the guy and then respawning again. Uh, the engine's been done. Oh, and we've killed the rocket finally. So, uh, we win. Rock is destroyed, you know, and we get to get a victory march. And here's our cheese ball credits. It looks like I saw Larry the Cable Guy for a second there. Wait a minute, was that the act guy from, who was it? That that one guy with the fro that that looked like one of those guys from My Name Is Earl. Okay, let's see who else we're gonna do right here. Uh, it looks the hand. That's a hand. That's a good one. The hand. Uh, 
anyway. <laughs> okay, that's a weird one at the end. Anyway, this is Kiki signing out, and uh, <laughs> like I said, sorry for getting in a tangent, and that really bothers me a lot. That's why I'm so aggravated about some things that I know could people can do, and uh, uh, later, like I said, I, I apologize. Just that really gets on gets on my goat. Uh, but later. And we'll just see what's going on, if there's anything extra. If there's not, then uh, this, we'll do the uh, ending movie thing and uh, blooper reel. And that's it. Like I said, uh, waiting on the loading bar. Waiting on the loading bar. Still waiting on the loading bar. Come on, bar. You can do it. It's always that last little 99%. <laughs> and, okay, nothing. So, uh, later. See ya.